Hi everybody. Today I'm gonna tell you another incident uh, that was basically in my house. Uh, so basically I have an electrician who's uh, from Bihar and uh, you know there was this guy uh, who was also a Bihari and he was like a bank manager. So I told him that if you go there you would get screwed. So he said, okay, but, uh, you know, let me give it a try. So I said, fine, no problem. So he went there. So this guy who was the manager, he told him, see, I'm from uh, this place in Bihar, like near Patna. He said, okay, fine, I'm also from there. Then he said, you know, my father is this, my blah, blah, blah is this, and stuff like that. And uh, so he said, okay, fine, okay, they were very friendly. Okay, you are my brother, I'm your brother. No need to worry. Okay, fine. This is like one of the tactics. So he he went there, and you know so somewhere he went like you know I got some like air conditioning on his back, on the electrician's back, and uh, you know the electrician had to carry the two floors up, and then you know he had to install it and do hundred types of work, and at the end of the day, he got paid less. So I told him, I told you before, this is going to screw you. And uh, then it's like, you were right. So basically, you know, it's like a twisted reality. But people from Bihar who are like a bit fluent, uh, they tend to screw their people who are at the bottom of the pyramid. You know, the people who bear the brunt of everything you know, are these people, electricians, plumbers, small, small people. And outside, you know, they will go and they say, oh, we're ordering pizza, you know, this, that, you know, I, I, you know I'm educated from here, blah, blah, blah. And like, this is the kind of, uh, you know, mentality that's really, really disgusting. And that's why, you know, uh, these people are not liked by 99% of the population in India. Uh, but having said that, you know, in every community there are exceptions and I also know exceptions in uh, these communities. So it's better you first identify the people and then sit with the right people rather than sitting with the people who don't have the values or, you know, have this screwing kind of mentality. And uh, the other thing I've seen in India is like, you know, these vlog people, they come, street food, street food, American, ah, oh, I like street food, see. Only 30 rupees, 40 rupees, less than a dollar, less than a dollar. So I'll tell you an incident, you know, when I was in uh, going to uh, a UP, Uttar Pradesh, uh, this is the nearby state. So I went to a shop and there's this guy sitting all smug and he's like, okay. So he's got this guy and I see like these bottles of Kampa and all the, I thought like this little less in these bottles that uh, you know the quantity in these you know bottles we've got like bottles you open up with a uh, bottle opener and then you know you drink it well, there's a little bit less in these uh, coca-cola bottles you know, what's the problem so i saw this guy he takes the bottle puts it <laughs> in his teeth and somehow opens it without messing the uh, crown and you know drinks one sip takes the bottle puts the cap back on and then you puts it in the uh, puts it in the freezer and street food basically the oil is so it's maybe it's even synthetic oil and these people like they it's not like you know they're there for the permanent or you know anything of that sort they sell over there then they keep moving from one place to another that's the best way to get into trouble if you want to eat from hawkers and street food and stuff like that, unless and until you have a guide or somebody who is, knows that this place has got the right food. So if you come to India, please don't try that. That's, that's total stupidity. Okay, and don't say street food, street food. Because uh, India, there's no specified standard uh, for any of the hawkers in India. Bye and take care.